All right, Dave Bentley here, and I'm quickly going to go over the Gravity Forms uh, multi-page auto advanced plugin uh, features, and you can get the uh, free version in the repository, uh, the basic version, and you can get the pro version over at multipagepro.com. Uh, or if you've already downloaded the free version, it's on your on your uh, website, you'll see in the back end that there's some links where you can go to the demo page, check that out, and you can also upgrade from the demo page. Okay, so um, we created this to be able to uh, quickly maneuver people through a gravity form uh, multi-page setup, and this is great if you're doing polls or quizzes, uh, or you just want something a little bit more seamless for your forms. And I'll quickly go over the front end of this, and then I'll show you how this is done in the back end. So on here, uh, we've got two selections set up on this first page. The first choice will do nothing, okay? Uh, and I've got the next button displayed, so I could obviously uh, have a optional field here and just click next if I don't want to answer it. But if I do answer this, we have auto advance set up to go for any of these. All right, so now on the second page, it just flips, but now I've actually hidden the next field, and this will auto advance me to the next. And now I've hidden both of the buttons, both previous and next. Uh, we've got polls integrated into this. And of course, we select it when the server has a glitch. There we go. And then we've got quiz fields added, as well as the survey fields. We've also built in the capability to work with the product fields as well. So you can just select one of your products. And then uh, we've incorporated the Gravity Wiz nested forms plugin uh, into this website, and then we've uh, made it compatible with that. So you can add an entry into here, and then we've got the uh, auto advance set up on that nested form as well. We'll click next. And then lastly, um, we're going to click this, and it will just submit the form automatically without having to click the submit button. There we go. There's my uh, my survey results. All right, so now if we take a look at the pro version, there's one main difference that uh, was actually one of the most uh, asked for features of the uh, basic version, and that is the ability to show or the ability to set it up so that uh, maybe one of your selection options has conditional fields that will show up and not auto advance it to the next page of the website or next page of your form. So if I click on this one, this is going to do as normal auto advance me to the next uh, option. Let's go ahead and go back. And if I select this one, we see that I drop down with my conditional field. And now I've also got my next button displayed. So I can fill this. This is my answer. Next. And then the last thing that this is really good for is you can do multiple nested conditional or auto advanced fields. So my first one, this is going to take me to the next page, or I select this one and I get another selector option. If I select this, this is going to take me again to the next page, or I can click this to show an additional field and click next again. I'm gonna go ahead and select this first option. And that auto advances me. And then I can submit the form, as you saw in the basic version, or I can show conditional logic based on this selection. So I'll click that and submit the form. All right, that's it. So those are all the features of the uh, Gravity Forms multi-page auto advanced plugin. Now let's take a little trip to the back end of the website. And we'll go into forms. 
And we've got the uh, auto advanced demo here, so I'll click edit. And this is super simple uh, to set things up. So obviously it just looks like you know any normal multi-page form that you set on Gravity Forms. And I can go into any of these fields, any of these selector type fields. And if you click on advanced, you'll see that you've got additional options, okay? I can auto advance form page when I get them selected. And I also have the option to hide the next button. Okay. So we'll go down here where we actually had this one set up. This is just auto advancing. All right, now go down lower. We're on our second page. And on the second page, it also gives us the option to hide the previous button. All right. Okay. Now, if you want to uh, do some sort of conditional logic and you've got the pro version installed, just flip on over here to the pro form. All right. So we'll click on this. You'll see it's just like we had it before, so we can auto advance on our selection, or we can hide and we can hide the next button. But what I'm going to do is, once you add that additional field and you make it conditional to that selection, it is going to render that selection as conditional, and it will not auto advance. So that is uh, that is pretty much it all the way through. Um, your last page, oh, let's show you the last page here. The last page will give you the option to auto-complete the form. So that, that feature is available on the last one. And you can also hide the submit button on that one as well. And that's it. Uh, feel free to check this out uh, over at gfformsdemo.com. Um, and if you want to purchase the Pro plugin, you can check it out again at Multipage Pro uh, or in the uh, WordPress repository. You can just um, go in there and search for the uh, Multipage Auto Advance and it should pop up there at the top.